Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are visiting two locations from the movie The Shining. And right now we are in the great state of Montana and we're about to leave the cabin we rented out for a couple of weeks to head to Glacier National Park. But before we go, I just saw these cute baby turkeys in the front yard. This place is seriously amazing. So in the very beginning of the movie, all the driving shots up the mountain to the Overlook Hotel was filmed inside Glacier. The establishing shots of the hotel were filmed at the Timberline Lodge on Mount Hood in Oregon, and that will be the second location that we'll visit in this video. But as we head over there, let me give you a quick overview of Glacier National Park. And I'll put a timestamp on the screen if you want to just skip this and get right into the locations. Now Glacier is massive and it's divided into three sections, Many Glacier, Two Medicine, and Going to the Sun Road. Many Glacier has a lodge and boat rides, but it's mostly hiking and it's also super buggy. You can see all the swarms on the right hand side of your screen. Two Medicine is also mostly hiking as well. There's actually a really easy hike if you come here and I would probably call it more of a stroll than a hike and it leads to Running Eagle Falls. It's super easy and level, has some beautiful views and the payoff at the end is definitely worth it. Then there's Going to the Sun Road, which is where the beginning shots of The Shining were filmed. There's also tons of hiking and some boating here, but the main feature is the 50 mile scenic drive on Going to the Sun Road. The drive takes you through various types of terrain, leading you to the highest elevation of over 6,600 feet at Logan Pass. And once you go over Logan Pass, you'll descend and drive until you get to the St. Mary Visitor Center. Now we spent time in all three locations, but we enjoyed going to the Sun Road the most. And if you do come here, one, be careful driving, especially on going to the Sun Road. When we were driving around, people were pretty responsible on the road, but you do have some steep drop-offs. And you'll also find that some animals will cross right in front of you on the road. Be careful in Two Medicine and Many Glacier too. When we were driving into Two Medicine, we almost hit a bear. And of course, if you do venture out onto the trails, always bring bear spray because you are in bear country. But back to The Shining. The sequence shots of the movie are chopped up over many sections of going to the Sun Road. And the sequence moves throughout the park. It doesn't flow in one direction either. So in the beginning, it starts off on the east side for a few shots and then goes all the way over to the west side before heading back towards the east. And this happens multiple times. But let's jump into it and I'll show you both the original and our footage. Many of the original shots were taken from the air and you can't fly a drone here, but you'll be able to see by the terrain that we are in the right place. The opening starts by flying over Wild Goose Island on the east side on St. Mary Lake.
I just want to jump in really quick with this aerial shot that we see here. Overhead, you can see a big waterfall flowing onto the side of the road. Here it is from the ground point of view, and you really don't get an idea as to how big it is. It drains underneath the road, and you can see where it flows on the other side of the road, and you can see that in the film from the sky. As you can see, the glacier sequence ends with an establishing shot of the Timberline Lodge, which is the exterior of the Overlook Hotel. And tomorrow, that is where we're headed. We are heading up to the Timberline Lodge now to scout out the location before filming. It is beautiful out, but I was hoping for a dreary day to film it, so we'll be coming back tomorrow because we should be getting some rain. But I wanted to show you guys the drive up here and talk a little bit about this location. The exterior of the lodge was used for establishing shots only. In the movie, you see a huge hedge maze and a lodge that looks like Timberline, but Kubrick recreated the lodge and constructed the maze at EMI Elstree Studios in England and filming took place there. But to me, Timberline is its own character in the film. The location, as depicted in the story, really creates that feeling of complete isolation and you can see how that could contribute to Jack's descent into madness. And as we drove through the scenes in Glacier, you can see how that adds to the vibe of how far away from everything the hotel really is. But in reality, the drive down from the Timberline to Civilization isn't very long at all. When you come down the mountain, you reach US Route 26. And if you head west for 30 minutes, you'll end up in Sandy. And Portland isn't too far away from there. And if you head east on 26, then north on Oregon 35, you'll end up in Hood River in about 50 minutes. Now, even though the Timberline was just used as establishing shots, it really has embraced being part of The Shining, and you'll see what I mean when we go inside. But the lodge itself was constructed back in the Great Depression, and it is now a National Historical Landmark. It also has the longest ski season in North America, which is pretty cool. Okay, so it is the next day and it is overcast and rainy. Yay! We're gonna take a look outside first and then we'll go inside and check it out.
check out this view of Mount Jefferson. It is beautiful. But that is going to do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.